From NPR News, this is All Things Considered. I'm Alyssa Block. And I'm Robert Siegel. A giant and powerful digital camera is about to be shipped from a lab near Chicago to a telescope high in the Chilean mountains. The camera is designed to help scientists study a mysterious part of the universe called dark energy. NPR's Nell Greenfield Boyce reports that dark energy makes up most of our universe, but scientists know almost nothing about it. The camera is sitting inside a building at the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. Physicist Brenna Flaher says its basic technology would be familiar to anyone who uses a digital point-and-shoot. The camera that we built is really very similar to the digital cameras you can buy at Walmart or wherever. But this camera is big, so big that its guts fill a shiny cylinder that's about the size of a car engine. This thing weighs almost a ton. Uh, The lenses for it by themselves in in the barrel that's like the telephoto lens you stick on the front of your camera, that weighs another sort of ton. The largest lens is about a meter in diameter so that we have a very wide field of view. And this camera is also incredibly sensitive. After it's mounted on a telescope later this year, it will survey a large part of the sky for faint galaxies at the distant reaches of our universe. By studying these galaxies, scientists hope to learn more about dark energy. I think this probably is the first camera that's been designed just to do dark energy. Dark energy was discovered only recently. In 1998, two different research teams saw the first evidence for it. They were looking at the light coming to Earth from exploding stars in faraway galaxies. What we really measured was how far away the galaxies were, and they were much farther away than they should be just based on gravitation. That's Nicholas Sunsef, an astronomer at Texas A&M University. He says this meant something is acting against gravity. It's as if you threw a rock up in the air, and instead of slowing down and coming back, the rock kept shooting up faster and faster. You'd think that would be really weird. That, that's anti-gravity. Well, the same thing happened with, with the galaxies. We see that our galaxies, as they, they're moving apart, instead of them slowing down like they should if there was just a rock thrown in the air, they're actually speeding up, going faster and faster. Sunsef says it seems as though space itself has a natural ability to push away all other space around it. That's what the equations are saying, that every piece of space is like it, it doesn't like anything else around it. It's constantly pushing everything away. As it does that, new space is created in between. But that new space that's created will see the other pieces of space and then push on that, which makes it a a process which goes faster and faster and faster. This means the universe is not only expanding, that expansion is speeding up. Sunsef says it seems that the universe is flying apart. Galaxies will ultimately disappear in the sky. All will go cold and dark. That's a disturbing idea, both philosophically and theologically. In almost all theologies, things either renovate themselves or you go to some place where there's eternal life. And the idea the universe is just going to expand forever and kill itself, it's not natural for us to think that's what's going to happen, that everything ultimately will perhaps be destroyed. It's a challenging idea for science, too. Sunsef recently served on an expert task force that looked at dark energy and concluded that so far, science hasn't come up with any good explanation for why it exists. There's enough data that people know what we don't understand, but there's not enough data to explain it yet. There's too much room for the theorists to come up with crazy ideas right now, and so there's lots of crazy ideas, and we need data. That's where the big new camera comes in. Flaher says no one can photograph dark energy itself, but the camera will look for the effects of dark energy by gathering data on more than 300 million galaxies whose faint light has been traveling towards Earth for a very long time. With this camera, we'll be able to go back about six, seven billion years, so about three quarters to halfway back to the Big Bang. This will let them look back at how the universe has been expanding in the past, and how dark energy may shape its future. Nell Greenfield Boyce, NPR News.